What if it feels as if you are burning with glorious purpose, but at the same time feel like you have no idea what you're supposed to do? What do you do if you feel like you have no goals, no higher aims, and no real clue about what it is that you're supposed to do? What if you keep switching between different things over and over again? What can you do? To answer that question, I've never felt like I didn't know what to do. I always felt like there was so much to do. I felt like there were so many things I wanted to do. And I felt like I was going to have to clone myself in order to tackle all these problems. How to stop poverty, how to stop climate change, how to help people across the world. There were so many things that I felt like needed doing and my hands, well, I only have two. So I want to help you help yourself because I think a problem with this question is we think there is this destiny that we have floating around our heads. Like it's just hanging around here. There's one thing, one specific thing we're supposed to do. And we have to think hard enough until we find out what that big destiny is. In reality, often the only thing you need to do is look down, back down, zoom out, you know, okay, rather zoom in from all that, like all those big things that you see that uh, might be what you're supposed to do. Zoom in to yourself and think about your personal life, your work, your relationships, or things that happen around you, small problems that you keep running into, you know. That one thing that frustrates you all the time, that thing that keeps uh, causing you stress or anxiety or those difficulties that you keep, that keep happening to you in your life. And start thinking about those things. Like, do other people have that as well? Uh, or is that just me? Start talking with people around you, you know. I've always been struggling with this big problem, you know. Or do you guys have that as well, you know. By doing this, you're kind of anchoring yourself to reality and what you're starting to do is you're starting to realize that, hey, maybe my big quest is happening right now, right here. Maybe my hero's call to action, and everyone has that one, is constantly making itself known, like constantly waving signs around me, you know, saying, hey, er Eric, can you take care of this? You know, maybe there's something that you keep hearing from the world that you're supposed to do, that you're resisting. Perhaps there is something simple, outrageously simple even, that you're supposed to be doing, that you can do right now. So often it's that we focus on some big abstract problem that's happening far away in the world. But most of the time it's that your quest is right here, right now, with your friends, your family, or your personal life and workplace. Perhaps the thing that you're supposed to be doing is something much more simple and much more mundane, but still extremely special and magical. There's a general resistance to this train of thought because we often feel that whatever is happening around us is wrong, is boring, is the world of the simple and I don't want to be simple. I don't want to be ordinary. I want to be somebody special. I want to, my life to have extreme ultimate significance and meaning. And all those things that are happening in my world, those things are ordinary. Those are mundane. Those are boring. But if you think that your life is boring, I think a lot of time you're not looking close enough to what's happening because magic happens everywhere all the time. There are so many things we don't understand. So many things that keep happening around us that are so special they could give you a permanent state of awe. And if you start seeing those things and if you start like really paying attention, you'll recognize that, hey, there is a special significance to everything. Everything your friends tell you about, everything that happened at your work, all those things that happen around you, all those things hold special, deeper significance if you just look hard enough. And you'll see that when what sounds like boring small talk and shitter shatter often can be quite revealing, often can be quite meaningful when you think about it in the greater scheme of what it means to be a human being and to live in this world. And so a lot of the time the solution is a lot closer than you think as well. 
the solution is not found in like some ultimate act that will <laughs> solve every single problem in the world, but often in very small acts of kindness that you can do towards people around you. Small things that you can do that will make your life better and the lives of other people better. So what is that one small thing that keeps bothering you about the real world? And what is it you could do about that?